I called it. I told you this was going to happen. <laughs> they order. They just set up where you can get into ordering the new Dodge Charger EV Daytona and the EV Daytona Scat Pack, the RT and the Scat Pack. And well, I had to do my, you know, best undercover work. And I called a couple of dealerships. And uh, nobody's buying these. Not for these prices. 90000 115000 You're smoking crack. Welcome on back to TK's Garage, and well, the bullshit knows no bounds when it comes to dealers. I haven't talked about this dealership in a while, but it's time for me to uh, light their ass on fire. I, I have a call, I had another story I needed to fully do on somebody that also tried to purchase a vehicle from them, and that's right, we're talking about David Stanley. Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram in Oklahoma City. These jackasses. Anyways, I call. I say, hey, look, I see the new EV charger is out. I want to put in an order. And you're like, well, cool. We have an allocation for a scat pack and an RT. RT price? Get this. 85 thousand dollars for the rt that also includes giving the dealer the seventy five hundred dollar tax credit you're signing over the tax credit to the dealer you don't get the seventy five hundred dollar credit and that is before tax tag title and any add-ons like their bullshit packages and protection packages and the nitrogen in the tires because you know it's an EV you got to have the nitrogen in the tires and if you think that it was bad enough when you get to the RT pricing and it's not just David Stanley I, I called seven dealers the scat pack that's right the scat pack EV Daytona 100 Fifteen thousand dollars you dealers david stanley included are out of your ever loving mother effing mind nobody i don't even think the youtubers that are going to buy it to like jump over other cars on dirt courses or do other crap that they do with it maybe whistling diesel maybe he'll buy one to destroy it but outside of that, nobody's spending $115,000 on a car that a used $30,000 or $25,000 Model 3 can beat the dog shit out of. No way are people doing that. And guess what? Stellantis is allowing it. Dodge is allowing it. They're not going to rein in these dealers, these scat packs, these first calls i knew when i saw the article and they were calling it a first call that it was immediately going to be a scam i knew immediately that this was going to be a friggin disaster and guess what it is but i know you're going to say well tk that's just david stanley we know that they're scumbags at that dealership and you should never buy a car there so we already know this right what about other dealers funny you should ask because I made a phone call to Antioch Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram out in California. And I said, hey, do you got any RT or scat pack allocations for these new EVs? I'm highly interested. We do, but we can't talk about pricing over the phone. And I'm like, I'm talking to the sales guy. I said, here's my number. Have your sales manager call me. Obviously, I don't say my name is TK or give him my actual name. I'm ready to buy now. I can initiate a wire transfer or sign financing documents on this vehicle today. <laughs> I hang up. It doesn't take but literally 
It literally took, I don't know, uh, probably five minutes before I get a phone call back. And they go, yeah, uh, we do have a couple of allocations. He goes, there is a market adjustment uh, a tied to these of $35,000. Uh, if you're okay with that, we can get some information going. And if you're willing to pay the market adjustment now, and uh, sign some financing. We can we can go ahead and put your name first on the list to to pick these up as we get these allocations. <laughs> Look, I understand it's bad for the dealers, man, but <clears throat> I'm sorry. Nobody for the for the price of the adjusted markup for the price of the adjusted markup I could literally go buy a Tesla Model 3 that would completely and utterly spank whatever it is that Dodge is dropping when it comes out uh, and it reaches these dealers the first call is going to be a absolute frigging disaster and then that gets me to two other dealerships that I called as well, and nothing changed. The cheapest Charger Scat Pack EV that I could find was $115,000. Some people had these as high as $130,000, and of course they're going, that's just asking price. We're letting people bid on these. Does it sound familiar to you? Because we just went through this shit with the Demon 170. In fact, one of these dealers is still sitting on a Demon 170 because they won't sell it at anywhere near sticker. They're still trying to sell this car for 246000 friggin' dollars. It's not going to happen. Absolutely not going to happen. So, I don't know, man. Um, I think the Dodge Charger EV is off to a horrible start. I think that the games that the dealers are about to play with this car are going... The Charger EV was already going to fall flat on its face anyway. But the dealers are going to expedite the failure of the Dodge Charger EV. Because here's the facts. When it comes to the numbers, you can get on Tesla's site right now and buy a pre-owned Tesla Model S Plaid with like 20,000, 30,000 miles for around $65,000. That car can smoke a Demon 170. It will also smoke every single electric vehicle Dodge comes out with. And there's no wins there. You can't claim to be a muscle car company, a company that's about going fast and, and the experience and all of that. When Tesla can spank you out the box. And what's crazy about it is it doesn't even have to be a plaid. You can get lower trim models of the Tesla Model 3 that are going to beat the dog crap out of both of these cars. Watch for the YouTube videos that are going to drop on how bad Dodge loses to like a multitude. It won't even just be Teslas. They'll be Kias, Hondas, spanking this Dodge Charger EV. It's bad. It's bad. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I got to be honest with you. I just don't see. I, I thought the dealers might try to play some games with these cars at like, I don't know, five grand, like adjusted markup or something. But to try to sell these cars like they're Demon 170s, like, or last call editions because it's a first call, to try to sell, to try to push all of this money on these vehicles and they already aren't going to sell as it is oh boy Stellantis has a massive problem let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below if you don't believe me go over to dodgegarage.com go into the, the horsepower locator call a couple deal dealers yourself and see what they tell you the prices are and then let me know in the comment section down below till next time thank you guys very much for watching I truly appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.